Hey friends, it's Jason and we are in Nova Scotia. We were with a crew of photographers. We've got Amanda up there. We've got Photo Tripper himself climbing up the hill, Gavin Hardcastle. We've got Ben here and back over here behind me, we've got Chris, he's waving. We are at the Shetta Camp gypsum mines and we are waiting for the sun to go down a little bit more we've got some pretty good clouds and uh, we're waiting for some good light so we're going to take some pictures and you'll see them soon after this we started to separate a little bit and find our shots line them up where we wanted as you can see gavin up on the top of the highest stone and chris right beside me and then i was a little farther down the hill as you can see this is what i'm just i've decided to line up is somewhere in this area and you can see it on the back of the camera there's what i've got right now i'm just waiting for the sun to change a little bit and give us a little better light i'm cutting out the sky because the sky's kind of boring um there's not many clouds and i'm not sure if they're going to light up we'll have to wait and see but uh if the shot turns out here's the shot location where we were standing as you can see is pretty much a straight drop off there you can see Ben up on the top rock and you can see Chris next to my tripod with his tripod so there you have it there's uh, the pictures there's the video it's actually future Jason here right now I didn't get the chance to finish off the video yesterday you will see um, day two and it's raining right now we're going to a place called Egypt Falls and I'm going to meet Gavin and the rest of the crew right now and um please like subscribe day two in cape breton down by the water it might not be too much for all i know it's dried up <laughs> but we've had a lot of rain the last few days you know we've been down here in the summer no. Gavin, our ever diligent guide, leads us down the hill to Egypt Falls, the start of day two, and we're all quite excited to get to this waterfall because it is stunning. The hill is pretty precarious though, so we're uh, letting our uh, fearless leader lead us down the hill to the waterfall. As you can see, he takes us to some pretty precarious places, So, but it's well worth it once we get there. As you can see, here's one of my new t-shirts. There will be a link in the description if you're interested in getting one. Now, Chris, you know, if you want to drive back to your car, I, I may need some of that drone footage. <laughs> you must. Is that, is that the bribe? That, that might be the bribe. Unless you want to walk. <laughs> so as you can see, I framed up this shot here and um, hopefully trying to get in all of the waterfall in. I want to do some close-in shots, but if uh, I've managed to capture this the way I want, I'll show it to you now. The shoes aren't waterproof when you get them completely dunked, but when you're trying to get a shot from the middle of the river, you do what you gotta do, I guess. As I'm not one to normally get in the river, I normally stand on the side and get the best pictures that I can, but this time, you know, everybody was jumping in, so of course, Jason had to jump in too and disaster struck a few minutes after taking this shot, this scene. What you're seeing here, my camera was not tightened enough on my tripod and well, disaster struck. I'm sick to my stomach even just talking about it right now. My camera took a swim. It was so quick. It was in and it was out, but it didn't work. It wasn't, I had, oh, it was so painful.
After several days in a bag of rice, it still didn't work. It was dry, but something was obviously wrong. So as of today, it's on its way to Nikon Canada to see if it can be repaired. Fingers crossed, everybody. That's it. Check out the rest of the photos that I took here at the end of the video. And if you like this video, like this little adventure, please hit like, hit subscribe, and come back for more whenever I can take new pictures. And uh, check out my t-shirt link down below if you're interested in getting one of those. I will also, down below, put a link to Gavin's channel and to Chris's channel so that you can check them out as well. And I hope that you come back and I see you again next time.